we need to have sanctified imaginations as to what kind of Europe God really wants. Post-Christian Europe, you know, is, is full of incredible needs, whether it's, you know, new spirituality, whether it's Islam, whether it's the uh, ethnic groups that we, we need to reach. I mean, the world has come to our doorstep, so uh, what we're doing is just a, such a tiny fragment of what we could. Uh, we have to find creative new ways to, to present the reality of the message of the Kingdom of God in a way that is receivable, is palatable to, to today's world, to today's generation. To do that, to prepare to take on board these greater numbers of workers that are coming, I think we have to be much more open to new concepts, new ideas, uh, to accepting that we're going to be challenged to look at some issues and deal with some issues that perhaps historically we've never considered before. People are back to their Celtic roots or Germanic roots, dealing with all kinds of spirits and gods, and so we need to learn deliverance ministry and confronting um, um, these spirits and ministering to the people. Next time when you feel a little bit abandoned, go and look for the hand of the older generation. Give them a message, I need you. Older generation, let's find ways how to father and mother. Still stay within our anointings. And maybe do brand new things. That risk-taking and the, the walk of faith is a fear-filled journey. It is a season where you feel you're in the darkness and you have no answers and you do not know what the heck is going to happen. But when you're in the darkness and you're choosing to trust God, it is a beautiful place to be. It doesn't feel nice, feel. But it's right. If we rely on a position or a role to command respect in order to lead, then we fail. If we cannot earn the respect of those we lead through our lifestyle, through the values that we live out, then we have no right to be in leadership. How can I live my Christian life in the area of church, in the area of family, in the area of government, media, and inspiring people to be missionaries uh, in, these, in all of these spheres of society? We want to reach out with the hands and feet of Jesus to be an answer to some of the global needs that are out there. Global poverty, preventable disease, HIV and AIDS. We want to be part of why I'm of reaching those things. I have been mentoring the young generation and many of my age has been mentoring silently and quietly over the last 10 years and I'm so excited to see a new generation that has come up and actually taking real leadership and walking in the fear of the Lord leading in the wisdom of God, they are, it's just fabulous for me, that's the hope in YWAM, is the next generation of young leaders that is really filling their space.